Hi, I'm Wayne Hess. This year, we lost two very special folks. John Elliott and Joe Markey contributed so much to PCT, to the community, and to our world. They represented the very finest that community media can accomplish. They were good friends and mentors to all. Sharon Walker and I felt that we should put together a tribute to commemorate their accomplishments. So, here goes. John, I know that you've been a long time volunteer at Pacifica Community Television. How did you get involved? I got interviewed for on growing a fuchsias. I guess it was about that point that I started the senior program uh, t taping it. And I was taping it on uh, a three-quarter inch tape. So I had to edit at the studio and uh, I couldn't get into the studio editing booth anytime because somebody was always on. So I said, the heck with this business. So I started gathering equipment to do my editing at home. And uh, I gathered you know, several thousand dollars worth of stuff to start doing the work at home, and it was much easier for me and didn't crowd the studio. Hugh, how long have you been in Pacifica? When did I come there? I came here in 1960. Where'd you come from? And I came from here from Ketchikan, Alaska, and uh, I've been here ever since. I went to United Airlines and took their examination for employment. They hired me more or less on the spot. You were an engineer, right? So I'm certain your engineering skills really, um, you were able to put them to work at the station, right? See, uh, I helped build stations down there. Uh, I think I started building the one on the school property up on the hill there first. And then uh, I really got into it down here where the station is now. John, how many years have you produced Seniors in Action? Uh, we were talking this morning, I think it was probably close to about, what, maybe 18 years or so? Oh, easy that. And you, pr you provided the crew, you did all the programming for it, and then you, what, supplied the tapes to the station? Yes, yeah. And you had a whole studio set up here in your garage, didn't you? Yes. I had a, quite a studio set up out here. Uh, but I know, because you actually helped me edit a couple projects, too. Oh, see. <laughs> uh, so what has happened to that studio now? Because you're no longer actively volunteering at the station, correct? Well, I've not, I've, I was doing a little camera work down there before I quit altogether. It was getting to me too much for me. Uh, I couldn't stand up long enough to to be on camera, so I had to sit down. But that was no good for a studio shoot, so I quit altogether. So what'd you do with all that equipment? I gave it back to the studio. The when you say back, though, you were the one that bought it, right? Yeah, I bought it and gave it to the studio. And I think they're still using it now. We are, John. It's really helping out with a lot of projects, intern projects, and it's being a great benefit to the station. You've, all of your time that you've put into this station, you're just been, you've been a wonderful, valuable volunteer. What do you think um, is important about this station here in Pacifica? Well, I think it was a voice of Pacifica. They could find out what was going on in Pacifica by listening to the station. TV, uh, Channel 8. And do you feel uh, it's important that the station continues on and be a voice in this community? It should 
continue. I hope it does. John, you're holding an award. What is this award for? Oh, this award was for Seniors in Action Program that I continued for several years. I don't know how many at this time. Are, is there anything you'd like to say to those viewers who watched a lot of those programs that you produced? I enjoyed them tremendously. They were good years, and I had a lot of experience in taping the seniors. It was a job. <laughs> it was a job because I had to put up with conditions that weren't suitable for regular studio work. I guess it was worth it. It was worth it. John, I want to thank you on behalf of Pacific Community Television and all of our viewers out there. I'm going to thank you for all the time and energy and the financial support that you have given to this television station. It's because of people like you that we are still operating. Thank you very much. You can't live without him. Dennis Willis. Coming over. Dennis, great to see you. <laughs> Woo! Good to Thank see you. Congratulations you. on your uh on your, your new career. Thank yes. you. Yeah. So you, you told everybody out there where you're, where you're going. Actually, and I didn't mention anything. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Is this you didn't, actually. I, <laughs> I should probably set this up then. I was was I your first guest or one of your first guests? You were here's what happened. You watched the first program. You were my first viewer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. I'll accept that's the coolest that. thing. We started in November. Mm -hmm. And um, of 1981, 81, yeah. Okay. Actually, it was only a month after I was on your show that I got my own. I know. So uh, it's pretty frightening that we're sitting here. How many years later? Yeah. You were you were doing a show back in the black and white days. Yeah, I started. That? Yeah, I started. Oh, you did one black and white show. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. And then they, then we got the color cameras. Yeah, we had one color camera. That's right. It was a big deal when we went color. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it was like at 1982. That's but uh, but that's cool. So Joe is going to be the host of Break a Leg. I'm sorry. Did I ruin something? Did no. I, did I? <laughs> I thought Joe was going to come on and sort of break the ice. But so uh, no, I just uh, Joe has been um, here. We're doing the show together for a mm -hmm. while, and now mm -hmm. we're going to do it apart. When I, I saw you, of course, uh, what was it? Two days, three days ago, yeah. and um, it was at uh, Mike's service, and you know it was a rather sad day. Yeah. Uh, it was a good day, though. I mean, it was lots of great stories and laughing and crying, and he was an amazing guy. And um, all of a sudden, you, you told me that you're doing your last show. Good. Joe, thanks. Well, Gordon. Wish you all the best. It's, it's been really fun. Well, it has been, but I don't know how it's going to be without you. It's going to be fine. Bye. Joe did much better than fine. He used the show as a platform to share his love for performing arts in the American musical, and he encouraged us to spread our creative wings. He changed the name of the show to Regards to Broadway the same as his old radio show. Francisco Mime to proudly presents Possibilidad or Death of He booked performers and performances for the show. With each show, it got a little more exciting. Try to find reactions to make a play a hit. And we have the job of doing all directions, blocking all the sections, making them to fit. We do this by tradition. The Pacifica Spindrift Players of Tradition. <laughs> John and Kathy, hey. so I'd like to stay here and have you here. And that was the most sensational opening we've had in this show ever. <laughs> I mean, I think people wonder what's happening. Je te 
He had a special place in his heart for the San Francisco Ethnic Dance Festival, and we featured one of its acts every year. And he was a major champion of San Francisco's Museum of Performance and Design, a showcase for the Bay Area's performing arts heritage. They need your financial help. They are in danger of closing. So let's honor their memory. Let's make sure the tradition of community media survives. It is the voice of the people, and it's the finest creative opportunity for anyone with a story to tell. Thank you. Thank you.